this TikToker is receiving a huge amount of backlash for charging $125 for a mug. And the drama further continues when people discover that the mugs aren't even crafted by her. More chaos like this in today's video. All right, everybody, welcome back to the Jerry and Curtis show. That's cool guy Jerry over there, and I'm Big Muscle Curtis. So a bit strange, but we're talking about mugs again, okay? We spoke about a Stanley Cup not so long ago, and now we're talking about a strawberry mug. What's going on? I mean, there's wars going on in the world, and we're talking about strawberry mugs. I'm, I'm not sure what's going on. I, Maybe I'm, I don't know. So to start off with this TikToker called Sofa Dorfer, who was basically uploading a TikTok on kind of like a Christmas haul of all the things she bought. And she was pretty upset with a mug that she bought, which actually turned out to be 125 Australian dollars. Now we will take a look at that TikTok in a bit, but what she didn't realize is, is when she was talking about the strawberry mug, is that it actually belonged to another TikToker. A TikToker called Shelby Sherritt, who basically makes mugs for a living. She paints them, handcrafts them, etc., and then sells them on to people. And apparently she's a small business. What's that? Two million followers. That's a pretty, pretty small business. Very insignificant, if you ask me. I mean, two million people, it's not that much, really, is it? So, yeah, it was pretty funny when Sofa Dorfer was talking about the strawberry mug. She didn't even realise that this mug is actually from a creator on TikTok. So you can imagine the controversy that sparked, yeah, over a strawberry mug. Yeah, it's World War Three now, ladies and gentlemen, all right? Get in your bunkers and grab your beans. Basically, I was at this market, the Finder ki Finders Keepers Market. How can you use this cup, right? I think it's actually like a kid... Sippy cut, which is silly because it's ceramic, so if I drop it, it'll smash. But I didn't say that. I thought it just had one handle. I was like, oh, that's such a cute mug. Like, I'm just going to get it. Like, I was like, whatever. Like, I'll just get it. Didn't ask how much it was. She's like, yep, yeah, that's all good. You can tap. It's 100. She's like, oh, no. She's like, it's all good. You can tap. Fucking look at the f -boss machine. $125. Look how small this mug is. Like, it's literally tiny. That's like a proper mug size. I was like, she like fully wrapped it and put it in a bag. And like, I was about to tap. So I was like, there's no way I can be like, no. I could have, but I would have felt really bad. So I just got it, but now I'm like, the fuck do I give this to? I'm not gonna give this to actually one of my cousins that's small because they'll just break it. It's so breakable. It's like hand serrained. So as you can see, ladies and gentlemen, Sofa Dorfa was just making a Christmas haul video. She had no idea this cup belonged to a certain creator or that the creator of the mug was on TikTok. She was just basically talking about it and just couldn't believe that she spent $125 on it. Now, the creator of the mug actually did respond, and we're gonna take a look at that in a second, but I do wanna say, to be honest with you, if you didn't want to buy it, you should have just said, yeah, I'm not buying it. I didn't know it was $125. No one held you at gunpoint, did they? <laughs> oh, I've got anxiety, though. I, I couldn't say no. Well, that's your problem, my friend. You know? <laughs> that is your problem. No, no one forced you to buy the mug. Second of all, you didn't know that it had two handles. Well, did you not use your human hands to pick up said mug and inspect it before you purchased it? Or did you just look at it and just go, yeah, I'll have that mug, please. Who does that? And third of all, would you not look at the price of something before you purchase it? Even if the price tag is not there, surely you're gonna ask, right? You know, how much is it? That's $125. Oh, no, thank you. Next time, maybe. <laughs> it won't be a next time. I'm not fucking coming back. But as I said, the creator of the mug called Shelby Share It did indeed respond. But firstly, let's take a look at this article. Small business owner hits back a rude TikTok star, Sofa Dolfa, after an argument over a $125 ceramic mug. Once again, small business owner. I'm not sure about that. <laughs> the 20 year old, whose real name is Sophia Begg, shared her shock over the price of a small ceramic double handled cap, which was $125, and claimed she wanted to back out of the purchase, but wasn't able to. <laughs> what does that mean? But wasn't able to? What 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 was not abling you to back out of the purchase? What exactly was that? All right, yeah, I'll uh, like to purchase this mug, please. Hiya, $125. Wait, what? No, I don't want. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. Oh, yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll take the mug. Thank you. <laughs> Shut up. We weren't able to back out of the purchase. Oh, 100% I would have just said, yo, I don't want this mug. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> That's the end of it. Well, let's take a look at the response. So I just saw this video. And that's my mug. That was only a short little clip of the whole minute that she talks about how I spoke to her as a business at the market. I just wanted to say thank you so, so much for supporting my small business. It means so, so much. Every single time someone purchases a piece that I make, I have literally spent hours and hours 
finessing, glazing. I hand paint every single one. And that's not including how much money goes towards tax, how much goes towards GST, how much outgoings I have. All my supplies that have also increased in value. It also includes my staff's wages. Okay, clearly, first of all, you know, she's trying to make a case for herself to the reason why she charges $125 for a mug. And to be honest, it was $125 expensive for a mug. Uh, yeah, I'd say it is expensive for a mug. Would I purchase it? No. But let's be honest, there are people out there who's going to purchase this mug. They just are. But she's obviously trying to defend her brand, you know, saying how much outgoings she has, how much taxes and everything. She's defending her brand, right? You know, people are bashing her for this $125 mug when in reality, you know, she has a small business. She can charge whatever she wants. I think they're both just ridiculous at this point. They're both blown out of proportion. You paid $125 for a mug, why did you fucking buy it then? And for this woman, Shelby, who owns the business, just shouldn't have responded. There was no reason to respond. Sofa Dorfer didn't even say your name or your business or anything in her video. It was practically unknown, it was anonymous. So you should have just left this alone. There was no reason to respond. But anyway, let's keep watching. Also deeply upsetting to have someone not only question you as a business owner and lie about how I interact with you but to also have you question my pricing when you too also run a small business and you know how much goes into every single little thing that small business does the thing that's also upsetting is that you came to the finders keepers market and do you know what we were all so excited even the market organizers were so excited that you came to the market and you were potentially going to shout out this wonderful event that supports small local creative businesses let's drop the uh, the act here right you're not a small business you have 2 million followers on TikTok. That is not a small business. You have more followers than the Pink Sauce Lady. And the Pink Sauce Lady's brand was huge. It literally took over the internet, all right? So you don't have a small business. So what's this all about? Oh, Jerry, it's just been really hard recently starting up my small business, you know? I had to go to the to the local market who supports small businesses and just to try and set up my small business is really difficult. But maybe if you start a social media account, you can grow your business. I've got 2 million followers on TikTok and I get lots of views, but how is that going to help me sell my mugs? Oh, it'll help you massively. Oh yeah, for sure. 100% help you massively. It's not a small business. Congratulations on your TikTok award. I then explained to you, like I explained to every single person that came to my store over that weekend, that all the prices were placed on the bottom and you can pick up, handle, you don't have to purchase anything. You can just enjoy my store because I get it. Times are tough right now. I don't want to put you in a financial situation. I want to have a living wage and I want to support my workers here. I want to be able to continue doing this and doing it for a very long time. I watched you pick things up and look at the prices. You picked up a number of pieces of that strawberry collection because it's freaking cute. It's so cute. And then I showed you other pieces that I had left. Because they were so popular, I barely had any of them left. And I showed you, and I even told you the price of them. After that, you handed me the mug that you were going to go, and I was like, awesome pick. And I asked you, like I asked everyone that weekend, whether you would like tissue paper or a bit more padding, because I wanted to make sure that the piece was safe wherever they were traveling to that day. And I didn't wrap it until I had an answer. And I, then I gave you the FBOSS machine to tap your card. It was literally your choice. And I wouldn't have wrapped it until I knew that you had, you had responded that you wanted that piece. If you would like, you can send me an email and we can organize you returning the mug to me and I can issue you a full refund of the money that you paid for that piece. And I can find someone else that will really, really love and appreciate that mug. In particular, that mug is really special because it may look like just a sippy cup to you, but it actually falls under the dignity mug category where it has a double handle to help people that have different needs and different disabilities that require to handle mugs. <laughs> Imagine coming on TikTok and shit talking a mug that has two handles when it's actually been designed for people with disabilities. But fair play, she offers a full refund. I mean, that is brilliant. I mean, that's a, a good move. Give or take, you know, she did actually purchase the mug. She could have said, no, I've said this several times now. And look at some of these comments. Hermes mug is $170, just saying. Yeah, I mean, that's a very well made point. Shelby sounds like a really miserable person. I know her type exactly. Really though? Or do you just make that assumption just based off this one video? Because by the looks of things, she's smiling in every other TikTok. 
So good assumption. You failed. It's literally a mold. Well, yeah, a lot of people are actually saying that, but I imagine even still, when you purchase a mold, it's probably still hard to, like, do the whole process, and then she has to hand paint it and everything. It's probably still a bit of hard work there, you know? $125. For that. Yeah, I agree. Maybe to people like us, a $125 mug, it sounds absolutely ridiculous. But everybody spends a lot of money on things that they like. Like, maybe some of you like painting, okay? And you buy a canvas, and the canvas costs like £50 or like $100 or something for a huge canvas. To me, that's a waste of money. But to you guys, it's not. Because it's your hobby. It's what you enjoy doing. People are willing to spend money on things that they enjoy. And here we go. Once again, around the block, ladies and gentlemen. Sofa Dorfer responded to Shelby <laughs> again. Here we go. I am making this video because I am so confused. I just went on my TikTok to see comments in my comment section saying, why would you lie to harm a small business? And I was like, whoa, what is happening? So I went to my tagged videos and I saw this video. It's like a two minute video of this girl saying that I slammed her small business and I said that her pieces weren't worth the price. Basically, I went to the Finders Keepers Market in Sydney on my birthday and I went and I bought a few things. I then did a haul and I showed in the haul this like mug that I got. This is my experience. I remember going to the Finders Keepers Market, looking at this store and being like, this is so cute. I walk up, there was like a little like, um, like barricade thing you had to like line up because the store was really popular. So I stood in the line, I waited, I waited, I waited, I waited a while, got to the front and I just wanted to have a look at some things. On my mum's life, I did not touch any items. I looked at all the items and I remember talking to a girl who had long dark brunette hair. Maybe I'm wrong, but I swear I remember having long dark brunette hair. And I remember seeing the mug and thinking it was really cute. When I looked at the mug, I couldn't see that it had two handles, but I wouldn't have bought it, but I thought it had one handle. If, like, she's claiming in the video, which I don't even know if it's if, if it is if it even is her business in the video because I don't remember her looking like that. She said that I was picking up the items, playing with them, like not playing with them, but looking at them, looking at the price. Why would I lie about this? Why would I make a TikTok saying that I had no idea what the price was if I knew the price? Basically, I see the mug. I think it's really cute. I thought I had one handle and I was like, oh, I'll get that, right? I didn't realize I didn't know the price until I tapped my card. I saw that it said $125 and I thought, in my personal opinion, I thought, whoa, I didn't expect it to be that much for a little mug. Not saying that the price, I never said anything in the video that the price wasn't worth that, that it was not deserving of that price, like the piece wasn't worth that price. Never said anything. It was a little comment about how I didn't know it was that much money until I tapped my card. Still bought it. Didn't even know it had two handles because I didn't see it. Like I just saw it from an angle where I obviously thought it had one handle. She is now making this video saying that I was picking it up. I looked at the price on the bottom. I looked at the price of a few things. She's telling me that she talks me through the price and that she talks me through the whole strawberry collection. This did not happen. I don't know why people feel like they can make videos saying my name and just throwing absolute lies in there to get views because the video has so many views. The video has so many likes. The video has so many comments slamming me. Of course, all my haters are going to run at that and just take that. Like people just take things like and you know she is right there what reason does she have to lie like she said i mean th there's no reason she didn't even call out the creator she didn't say anything bad about shelby she was just making a haul and she picked up and showed the mug and said oh you know it's 125 dollars didn't know it had two handles blah 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 and then shelby responded which i feel like was completely unnecessary i definitely feel like shelby saw an opportunity to create some controversy to get her small business more attention and it worked clearly it's successful because it's all over tiktok but i'm still like not understanding how you just don't see the handle i mean it's sat there i mean guys check this picture out here i mean this picture was taken of the stall and you can see the strawberry mug right there with two handles is that the same one she bought who knows but check it out two handles you can clearly see one two all right, so that's a lot of nonsense if you ask me. <laughs> but honestly, if you didn't want the mug, you should have just said no. I mean, it's basic human conversation. No. It's been around for centuries. It's hilarious, ladies and gentlemen. And I've got a lot to say about it, but unfortunately, we're out of time today. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think. Would you pay that much money for a mug? Or let me know something in the comment section that you have paid a lot for that other people wouldn't find it justifiable. With that said, check out my other videos, and I'll see you all, ladies and gentlemen, in the next one. Comment down below. Subscribe.